it's showtime. Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm, and yada 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 yada, as you know. Uh, don't need a plug, but since last night was the CNT Awards and a certain special, Miss Taylor Swift won the Country Artist of the Year Award. I can't remember what it is. Not that it matters to me, anyways. It's I just like being able to. I just thought I'd do something special. So, hence why this list. I carefully draw out here. I will take you and guide you through each point. Starting off with. Number one. And starting off, off with America has had the tradition of having America's little sweetheart. You know, this term can be attributed to people like, I believe, starting off with, well, okay, starting off with. People like Shoei Temple, who went on to do many other things, but that's for another history lesson. Okay. Uh, I would say probably not too long ago, Britney Spears was considered America's little sweetheart, but would, you know, hit me, baby, one more. Oh, wait a I minute. Mean, oops, she did it again. Okay. And her, uh, multiple oops, she did it again. So, to say the least, Taylor Swift is a, in a long line of it. And I believe just recently we've had many other America's Little Sweetheart. Starting off with Betty White would be considered our generation's America's Little Sweetheart. Uh, another would be... Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think of another. Oh, yes. Yeah. Honey Boo Boo Child! Yeah, there really wasn't a battle for this, was there? <laughs> this was the booby prize, wasn't it? This generation's sweet little sweetheart was, a. Uh... Yeah. We're not going to go into it. And. The reason why I dislike her little America's sweetheart facade, as I'm going to call it, because it is a facade, is that no matter what she does, no one's going to say anything. I mean, this girl has had like, I think at least seven, six to seven boyfriends, all pretty much older than she is. And now she's become what people I've cheered on to call a cougar. A cougar at like 22, I think at least 22, probably older than that. And let me look up an article, I believe I can find that with no problem. Because, like I said, I don't care for her. And for the most part, I have to say for
Okay. Well, I think starting off with her first one, which was John Mayer, and he's like 32 years old. Not that I have anything against someone dating someone who's a little older than they are. It's just, uh, 10 years might be pushing it. I think at this point it was 11, so, because she's like 30, 23 now, I don't know how John Mayer was, but still too old. But anyways, now for number two. Number two is probably more of a continuation of number one. Um, but this one still bugs me a lot. Is the amount. She's had like six, six to seven boyfriends. And pretty much most of them a lot older than she is, but thankfully she's toned it down. And, uh, According to some articles that I found, I think her only boyfriend to date was at least closer to her age was yeah. at least oh god oh my god yeah she even dated Jake Gyllenhaal oh my god. And I care about this woman and who she dates, but still. Oh, well, no, still likes to go higher and higher on age. But is currently dating, I think, Harry. And she's like, he's like 19. Who knows? Who cares? Or oh, I think I found uh, articles that have stated she's like, 23 now and dating a boy probably what two years younger than she is I'm not gonna say how old but I think when I made the video someone got on me about how I was blah, 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 blah. you know you shouldn't talk bad about it so she's not you know, she's not a cougar which who cares at this point she is or isn't about how I shouldn't talk bad about her relationships. But, like I said, that's part of the American sweetheart facade. No one seems to pass that. But anyways. It also bothers me because it wouldn't matter how old these people are. It's the fact that she's not happy with any of them. Which leads me to number three. <sighs> now for number two. Number three. <laughs> Anyways. This is number three. Where she gets her inspirations for her music. Most of the time, Taylor Swift, as you know, is from her past relationships, and every single one of those songs, like her past relationships, who cares? But I think ignored, ignored gender made a point when. I mean, my most in favorite of her breakup songs would have, or, well, actually, in love songs, would have been, oh my god, I can't even read the title. It's the one with I'm Romeo and you're Juliet. Something Scarlet Letter, who cares about this song? But, um, well, let's just go to Picture to Burn. Okay. I think it's. It talks about her wanting revenge for this man on this man. All she wants. And that. I think he's what about 
how she'll tell her best friends <laughs> all her best friends that she that they're you're gay or something like that. Well, I could see it. I wish it was here. Yeah, that's it. It states, and I'll put a link to it in the description. State the obvious. I didn't get my per my perfect fantasy. I really, I realize you love yourself more than you could ever love me. So go and tell your friends that I'm obsessive and crazy. Yeah. If that's fine. I'll tell mine. That you're gay. That's fine. You won't. But mind if I say, by the way, I hate that stupid old pickup truck you never let me drive. You're a redneck heartbreak who's really bad at lying. So, watch me strike a match. On all my wasted time, as far as I'm concerned, you're just another picture to burn. Yeah. America, this is your little sweetheart. She wants to go destroy some man's car and Yeah, Taylor, what 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 are you getting by this? I know this is an old song and I'm aware of the fact that uh probably very few people care, but still it's a song that has to make fun of gay people on top of it. And you know what? What I find really, really obnoxious about this is she does like a song called Mean, wasn't it? As a titled song. And she has like a member from Glee, one of the gay, well, one of the members that happens to be gay, I guess, as one of the bullied members not that I think that's a bad idea per se but when she's had music like this I'm really not gonna care that you're looking after the little guy when you're not exactly that nice to them in the first place Taylor now for number four Now, this one is going to sound a bit the same as the other one, maybe just a bit, maybe a touch. <sighs> I think I said the third one was her inspiration for the music. I think pretty much the song lyrics that she uses is an irritant because, well... One example is, uh, Rome yeah, the Romeo and Juliet or something. Let's see. Song. Let's see. Let me look this up. love story. Ugh. And, you know, I have listened to this song like multiple times. 
And no, I have not liked it, not even once. Not that it matters, but I had to hear this stupid song all through school. All school through it. Not, not even a break. But I hated this song for just... I, I was hating this, not only the song, but I hated... 15 for its lyrics. God knows, it's just... No. Woman should, I, I know she writes her own music, and that's kind of a glory in its own self. You think about it, you know, you can have music where they write, where a person writes their own music, and they're great at it. They're awesome. But not Taylor, okay? TLC did it, and it was kind of cool. I mean, yeah, they looked like kids, and they acted like kids. But you know something? It worked. It, and it's mostly because the fact that they still looked like children, and it was okay. You know, it wasn't like... It wasn't meant to also sound like music for older women who were, you know, going, Oh, I wish someone would love me. Am I against that? Not necessarily. It's just... It doesn't work for me. Even at the, I know, eventually I'll get to 40 and I'm going to be like, oh my god. Uh, what was I thinking at 20? I also hope I'm thinking, well, then again, I also could have been right. And especially about Taylor. But anyways, here's the line I absolutely despise. 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 To those who didn't get that reference, I'm sorry. I've been watching too much bad television lately. Anyways. Because you were Romeo, I was a scarlet letter. And my daddy said, stay away from Juliet. But you were everything to me, and I was begging you, please don't go. And I said, Romeo, yeah, we'll end it there. I hate that one. That's, that's, okay. okay, the ending to the song is actually what bothers me the most because, you know, I'm aware of the fact that the song, the mo the story doesn't end this way, but I do not like it when someone misquotes sources anything from the bar because I hate this, I hate the story, I don't want to even brought up as a romance thing, but anyways... And said, marry me, Juliet. You'll never have to be alone. I love you, and that's all I really know. I talked to your dad. Go pick out a white dress. It's a love story, baby. Just say yes. Just shoot me. Just shoot me. Right here, that lyric. I'm sorry, but come on, folks. And, and, you know, this is still America's little sweetheart. America's sweetheart. You're the ones who keep putting her there. Not me. <laughs> okay, another lyric example. And this one. This one, I've always hated. I'm sorry, I don't know who likes it. I hope someone might, but... All I gotta say is I've never liked You Belong With Me. I do not like the whole song. I'm not even gonna... I hate everything about it. Lyrics, the video itself is bad to me, or, well, not bad, but let's put it this way. I liked it. I like uh, Girlfriend by Avril Lavigne better than this one. And I don't care if everyone thinks Avril Lavigne is a total skank or not. That's the thing that everyone says about Avril Lavigne. And you know what? So what? At least she's better than Taylor Swift. So yeah, she might be a bit of a skank, but at least she doesn't hide it. But that goes under the facade thing. You know, facade. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll just, for fun, we'll pick out which ones I don't like. <laughs>
da, da, da. Okay. It's uh, it's she wears short skirts, I wear t shirts. She's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers. Dreaming about the day when wake up and find that what you're looking for has been here the whole time. Okay. Skip to the next little course. Uh, walking, walking the streets with you and your worn out jeans. I can't help thinking this is how, how it ought to be. Laughing on a park bench, thinking to myself, hey, isn't this easy? Hmm. And, okay, here's, now that one doesn't bother me that much, and I think if I had to explain which, why, the first few, this one's going to clear it up. It's, and you've got a smile like the light of this whole town. I haven't seen it. In a while since she brought you down. You say hey, that, say you're fine. I know you're better than, than that. Hey, what are you doing with a girl like that? Uh, well, the reason why I kind of hate this stupid song. Well, is that after a while it starts making me think this is supposed to be the nicer version of Girlfriend. Okay, that's just all this is. It's just the nicer version of Girlfriend. I liked Halloween because she wasn't afraid to go there, right? But Taylor Swift to me, eh, I, I don't like watered-down music. It's it's bad, okay? Watered-down music altogether is bad. Not saying I haven't listened to my favorite kind. I mean, rap. I've listened to rap music where it's watered-down because, well, let's just put it this way. I was not able to sneak... Tupac and Biggie into my house, okay? This wasn't done. Even in the 1990s, folks, wasn't done. Okay. Um, and then my most hated is 15. And this one I absolutely despise for this particular lyric. Because when you're 15 and every when someone tells you they love you, you're gonna believe them. And when you're 15, feeling like there's nothing to figure out, well, count to 10, take it in. This is life before you know who you're gonna be. Well, yeah, let me go on to other lyrics, which. Okay. Do I really think this is a bad song now that I read that lyric? Of course I do. I'm sorry, but maybe Maybe I'm the only 15... No, I know I'm not the only 15-year-old. That was a lot smarter than that Taylor. You know, it probably came out around the time I was 15, by the way. Go jump off a cliff, Taylor Swift. Please. No, no, no. No. Don't go jump, jump off a cliff. F. Take that back. There are other ways I can deal with you. Anyways, those are the three songs I have a problem with. But, overall, I find these songs to be 
not very good, and here's why. Never wondered de oh, excuse me. And I'm sorry. Anyone who thinks all fifteen year olds are absolutely idiots have not seen the idiots that go driving around here, around my town. Um, uh, let's see. Know nothing about probably know nothing of me, which I'm you know, I understand I don't get around all the time, so I can't say I'm a, you know, not the best example, but I'm not gonna say that it's right for people like Taylor Swift to be there, okay? To be telling me, Oh, when you're fifteen, you're gonna believe everything everyone says because you're so stupid. No. It's because a guy actually made you feel good. Even smart girls get taken advantage of Taylor. Eh. So I guess I got nothing to worry about then. And you know what I think is really stupid about that is she goes around dating all these other men, and yet she's at like maybe like five men in her life that are way older than she is. She's also dated men who are younger than she is. And I find that to be just as creepy and just as bad, okay? You know, if you're gonna say, oh, well, don't... In fact, I was watching the Ellen, Ellen show today, and I made that comment. And, you know, Ellen had the whole thing where it was on... Had her talk on her show, and all I wanted to do to Taylor Swift, and she told Kelly Cook. Now she didn't really say much of anything, so she's not she's not that high, okay? All right, she isn't that. She's not getting pushed up to there. All right, so I'm not gonna let that bother me too much. So, anyways, number five, the worst offense of all. <sighs> Okay, now ladies and gentlemen, for this fifth, for this fifth one, I decided to ask someone over. Someone who delights in the music that Taylor Swift writes. And she's right here, just a little nervous. Come on, it's alright, it's alright, they won't hurt you, I promise. What's that? Well, if you have to go. Yeah, I understand. I'm sure Taylor will understand that you couldn't see this. She couldn't be in this video very long. After all, it is a Taylor hater video. And, you know, Taylor Swift says to not hate, congratulate. I'm sure a lot of people would agree with that phrase. Those who do are the same ones who use the word heater in their videos. But anyways, yeah. Thanks for being here, though. Bye. Yeah, I'll, I'll let her know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I have had a run-in with Swifties before, and you know, I understand no one really gets to choose a name of their uh, fan base, but Swifties, Swifties, no, I want you to hear that, Swifties. You know, when I was growing up, we had fan bases too. So this is not something I'm, I'm alien to. I've heard of them before. They're just all freaking irritating. Like, 
Okay, you know, I think boy, Backstreet Boy band, mem you know, fans, they didn't name themselves. I mean, come on, they didn't name themselves. I try to imagine we named our, you know, fan bases like that. Do you realize how very few fan bases there would be? Yeah. Zilch. Now, I'm sure that there were some, like, you know, Nine Inch Nails, I think we would call Ninnies. And, uh, I don't know who... I don't know what you would call Nirvana fans, but yeah, that's what they would call Ninnies. Or... Yeah, because we really want to sound like a band. A bunch of people who call themselves uh, ninnies. <laughs> Short word, nincompoops. But I have to say, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of people hating me for this, too. I mean, there's also Potterheads. But you know something? At least if we're dedicated to something, we're at least smart about it. Okay? I'm a huge Potterhead myself. I bet that's besides the point. Right. But at least what we're dedicated to is intelligent. Taylor Swift to me? What are we dedicated to? Cleaning up music for the, you know, children's? Not that music hasn't already had that cleaning it up montage nonsense before. But still, knock it off. Okay? That, that's, I've dealt with enough of them. I don't get a whole lot on this channel, but I probably will after this video because it's really not a nice one. But that's besides the point. But yeah, anyways. Yeah, I. Anyways. Thanks for watching, and please. If you like this video, please click subscribe or press the like button. You don't have to subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't so wish to. And I would appreciate everyone going to the links down in the description below. And seeing, seeing if... Uh, if you can follow me on my Tumblr and Twitter. Anyways, this is Evie signing out and telling you this it. See you next year. Next time there's an award, there'll be another.